A guy comes up to me this morning. He says, I got good news and I got bad news. I said, OK, give it to me. He gave me a newspaper. I said, huh, funny guy. I looked at the newspaper, and it was terrible news, man, as usual. You know, apparently there's a petrol shortage in Zimbabwe. You know, can you imagine that the comrades must be having a terrible time when they riot, you know? No petrol bombs. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and can you imagine if we go to war with them? Like, it would be a battlefield and everything, tanks coming from either side, boom, boom, boom. And the guys from Zimbabwe would stop, hey, 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 stop it, stop it, we run out of petrol. Hey, no war, my friend, no war. Ha, 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 funny guy, funny guy. Yeah, and the cops will call you, you know, you'd be like sleeping at home, doo -doo, the cops, but what do you want? Uh, could you please hand yourself in because uh, we don't have petrol to come and arrest you? Ha! Ha! Think about that. Mm. But yeah, as you know, life of a single man, I mean, I'm sick and tired of spending my evenings like this, you know? What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have my fifth annual date next year, I mean next week. So uh, yeah, but between, uh, between now and then, uh, I'll still have my Hustler magazine and engage in uh, Amsterdam, you know, uh, the life of a single man. It's sad. What can I say? Let us have a little guitar and a nanny grigat. No, ask our 